So for your future reference, I'm going to record this session. So my dear learners, uh, due to some unavoidable reason, we have now joined online classes instead of offline or on-campus class today. We just supposed to happen at 10, 10, 10 a.m. or your class was supposed to start at 11.40 yeah? I think 11.40, right? G, sir. Okay. So good evening, everyone. How are you all? Alhamdulillah, sir. How about you? I'm fine, too. So could you please tell everyone to join the class immediately? Okay, let me share the slide. So today I'm gonna provide lecture on valuable struggles, right? The last text that actually we we have been we have planned on among the three texts. Did you study valuable struggles by Jonathan Swift? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. So please answer my question whenever I ask something, okay? You start in delicate struggles at home or not? I did a picture of mine, which is on delicate struggles. Slide with you. You will find people to understand me, right? Okay, so the author of this novel, Gulliver's Travels, is Jonathan Swift, who is, who is a very famous novelist, and I think one of the pioneering figures in writing books. Right. So I think you don't know that Gulliver's Travels is one of the first novels written in English. Jonathan 
19 October 2025 was and why we set a responsibility political bondage here right As lead to subsetter being subsequently termed the weeks then for the Tories. Again, weeks and Tories are due to the Tahun Kashumar, England is due to political parties, due to major political parties. So, Jonathan Swift and Nobel will okay. Swift Shian of Bolahai. Swift became Dean of uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, Dublin, hence his common subrequent Dean Swift. So, Tandam Dean Swift. Swift is remembered for works such as The Tale of Fita, published in 1704, an argument against abolishing Christianity. Then Gulliver's Travel, 1726, and a modest proposal, 1729. He is regarded by the Encyclopedia Britannica as the foremost prose satirist in the English language. He originally published all of his works under pseudonyms such as Lemuel Gulliver, Isaac Bickerstaff, and the Japier or Anonymous. Yeah. He was a master of two styles of satire. The Horatian and Juvenalian styles. So, do you know that satire only wrote on a curtain? Do you style it? The artist is Horatian and the artist is Juvenalian style. The so, introduction to Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. So, Gulliver's Travels, first published in 1786 and written by Jonathan Swift, has been called one of the first novels in English, one of the greatest satires in all of literature, and even a children's classic, though. Any edition for younger readers is usually quite heavily abridged. How should we respond to this wonderfully inventive novel? Is it even a novel in the sense we usually understand the term? Before we launch into an analysis of Gulliver's travels and consider some of these questions, is perhaps all to recapping the plot briefly, right? So let's go to the plot summary. Gulliver's Travels is structurally divided into four parts, each of which recounts the adventures of the title character, a ship surgeon named Lemuel Gulliver, among some imaginary 